Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob from Ranger Rob Country Living, and uh, it's kind of an update of some of the things we're going to do. So, uh, we're at war with mice now. Uh, now we're starting to get rid of some stuff. We had family over to pick up a lot of things from the um, their parents here. So we finally got all this shelving kind of cleared out. Uh, we're going to kind of cl clean it out and stuff, but this uh, garage has had issues with mice. We've even had mice get into the RAV4 here, and uh, it's a pain. So on Amazon, I've actually ordered some rollers that hook onto uh, five-gallon buckets, and I'm going to use the paper with glue inside of it that folds up. Um, I, I have to be really careful. I don't want to do anything that has to do with any poisons because of the dogs and cats. So we're at war with mice in this garage. And yes, I've still got tons of stuff in there. And then, of course, we're at war big time in the shop. So we're going to do a consistent five-gallon bucket water drop systems um, and the glue tape uh, boxes um, and see how that goes and just just keep battling it um, we actually watched a lot of videos on YouTube there's so many interesting ideas for how to get rid of mice but uh, the water bucket seems to be the most efficient um, of course, the regular mouse traps that just have clipped down <laughs> work great, but I still worry about the pets. And you can only catch one at a time. So, uh, anyway, the battle has begun. <laughs> and so, uh, uh, as we get some of our materials in, I'll show you what we're doing. And then, uh, uh, I also want to kind of review with you some things we're doing on the channel. So, uh, I think we're going to have a video come out real soon. Um, I'm going to try to do it this week. Uh, to tell you the stories a little bit about the two dogs that you keep seeing on our videos. Um, there's no no sad stories or anything. Uh, just um, a little bit of their history and a little bit of their growth. And some of the uh, actually wonderful news we've gotten about them about once we've moved them to the homestead here. So, yeah. Uh, also, uh, I still have not covered up the, the garden back there. I'm working on it. It's a beautiful day today. Uh, we're in uh, almost uh, October, and uh, we do have uh, a very extensive uh, watering system on this property. So next month we've ordered, um, we have a company that comes in, to help blow out the system. Uh, I've never done it before. They've always had somebody come in and do it. Uh, this is my opportunity when he gets here to learn how they do it and also how they blow out these systems. And uh, then I can spend the next few months doing repairs too. A lot of the uh, watering system is damaged uh, just from wear and tear and some critters. Uh, other than that, um, in the back here, we also got to build a high tower and a greenhouse before next spring. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. there's lots of stuff to do. So we uh, actually had family here over the weekend that uh, we told you, you know, we bought this from Sherry's mother. Um, her father passed away a year ago. One of the reasons we bought it was to be able to, in an organized way, release things that are here to family and uh, sometimes that goes really smooth sometimes it doesn't uh, and uh, for those of you who have been through it you know there's always someone with drama anyway we did get through all that and the final delivery um, was done this weekend so that's over so now it's um, us trying to 
go through the remnants of what was left um, uh, clean up everything that was because everything was moved around and thrown in trucks and stuff like that which we're glad and uh, uh, get our get control of this stuff so we can actually <laughs> um, move in the rest of the way because you see everywhere you go you always see boxes and uh, even though this was gone through and a lot of things went out uh, still got to be reorganized boxes everywhere and that's our stuff and uh, you would think in a place this big why are we living out of boxes insane <laughs> and uh, we had a lot of machine removed uh, some very heavy stuff we still got other things to get moved um, the inner shop here we did get some major whoops, major equipment out of here and then we're bringing in the equipment that we are using we did lose our drop down saw um, it was a, it was kind of a cheap one I just pushed the button on Amazon and ordered a uh, the best um, DeWalt drop down saw that you can get <laughs> so uh, I'm actually very excited about getting that but there is a lot of other equipment we have to get rid of um, and some of it will be done through a state sale but not till spring but if you can see way over there all those boxes they're either our personal stuff or they're the Ranger Rob poopy bag inventory which that's normal so uh, yeah and by the way guys uh, you guys I really appreciate the folks that have been buying our Ranger Rob poopy bags and uh, like I said that helps the channel and it's a it's a great product so uh, anyway so that's kind of a review with things going on lots of projects and uh, uh, new equipment coming in uh, we'll get the new DeWalt drop down saw uh, a week from now and we'll also start thinking about um, winterizing the fifth wheel back here super simple uh, I'll show it to you guys how we do it you'll be amazed is uh, it really all you do is take a bottle put a hose on it one person turns on all the taps till it turns pink and then uh, you drain the hot water tank you're done <laughs> it's so simple uh, I've had actually trailers in the past were a lot worse than that and this thing's a beast so anyway uh, I think oh I just had a video come out recently where we did a walkthrough on the fifth wheel and I called it the 2625 it's the 3625 Montana 2003 model and it's called an RE with a rear entertainment so I got that wrong sorry so anyway uh, lots of projects going on lots of work to do we're kind of getting in the mode of getting ready for winter we are thinking about putting in a wood stove or a pellet stove and we're also thinking about buying another generator um, smaller that is just going to be a little service generator still to be outside if we have power down to just run simple lights and stuff like that we also have the big generator to power our water system right here the well and uh, so um, the only thing we have to address is heat what are we going to do for heat uh, when winter comes so we're kind of hemming and hawing about uh, either putting our, another generator backup system on the house itself and run minimal systems but enough to be able to run the heater with maybe a 9500 um, generator or we put in a uh, wood or pellet stove yes we realize with a pellet stove it requires electricity so that's what's going on that's kind of an update uh, I want to thank everybody for watching please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos and while you're at it can you please like the video that helps our the analytics and um, and get our uh, video out there to people so uh, thanks we love to hear your comments and thank you so much for watching our channel so we'll talk to you later bye Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.